feel at the end of a season like this one? Well, it's like bittersweet. Like, yeah, you go that far and it's awesome because, you know, we had a winning attitude, winning atmosphere all year, and then you lose the way we did in, in, at home in game six. It's tough to swallow, but, you know, at the end of the day, there's a lot of positives to be looked at, and then uh, there's some things that need to be worked on. And, uh, you know, the, the saddest thing is we wish we could have brought the Calder Cup to Syracuse. And uh, that, that will, I'll think about that all summer and that uh, you know, we couldn't, couldn't bring it home for the city. If you look at this uh, rink behind you here, you'll have some special memories from, from this building. Any that stand out? Yeah. If, uh, you know, the, the crowd, the, when it was sold out, the way they were chanting, the, the energy, the fans, you know. One thing I, I always loved was you come out of the room and all the fans would always be lining up there and uh, waiting for autographs. And there were, I made a lot of friends in that lineup. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll miss those people. And uh, But, you know, there's always next year. And, uh, you know, just celebrating after every series we won was awesome to, uh, to be together in that room and then come on the ice. And, through the tunnel and, and have the fans, you know, doing the starting lineup or chanting, and it was it was awesome. It was a, it was a great place to play in a great atmosphere. You're the captain. You've got to be a leader. You've got to be a bridge between the players and the coaches. Well, I think it was, uh, you know, it was very easy. The guys on this team made it very easy. And uh, you know, one, we have unreal leaders. I tell everybody that, and it's not just on me. And there's guys like Cote Nielsen and Wyman that uh, really helped the transition of the guys coming in, you know, dealing with the coaches. And uh, you know, we're not, a, we don't structure this team like most teams, you know, it's not all on one person. It's, we, we de delegate everything. And, uh, you know, our coaching staff are friends with all of us. It's not like there's a, you know, they coach with an iron fist. You know, we, we, they, we listen to them out of respect and uh, you know, not, not out of fear. And uh, I think the coaching staff has done a good job of, making this a fun environment where everybody is friends first and uh, we care about each other. And, uh, you know, I know the coach's family, coach's family knows my family and it makes the whole team one big family. And I think uh, we've instilled that in the last two, three years in this organization. And I think uh, when you make a team a family, that's when uh, everyone pushes and pulls for each other because, you know, you want to do it for the guy next to you, you want to do it for, you know, everybody. And uh, I think uh, as a captain, it was very easy with this team because, Everybody was so good and they took care of each other. It wasn't like a young guy couldn't take care of, we had young guys taking care of veterans sometimes as you're helping the veteran guys out. And that's, that's what the team's all about. You're a, you're a very proud person. I'm very proud of this team. Why? What, what about this group has made you so proud of them? Well, they every night the guys lay it on the line. You watch guys blocking shots. You guys watch guys get cut up in their faces and, and they go out the next shift playing hurt. And uh, it's easy just to say, I'm too banged up to play or I'm too hurt to play and the guys just kept doing it and they kept doing it night in night out for each other it was regular season it was guys fighting for each other sticking up for each other and it didn't matter who they were we all loved each other and we did it for each other and I think that's something to be proud of and uh, you know when you have that kind of a bond you know you you're setting yourself up for more chances of success what does this season regular season up to the NHL Calder Cup run. What does it all mean to Mike Angelitas? It means everything. I think uh, it's one of the most special years of my life. I think the last two I've been. And, uh, you know, this year was even more special. You know, we come into a, a, a tough situation where we move cities and uh, we come in here and everybody welcomes us with open arms. And if we didn't have that, I don't think we would have had such a good year. And I think it helped with the success of our team. And we just, uh, we just bound together and, and wanted to win. And, um, you know, this year has been so special because we went so far. And, and we, you know, you could see the transition in the city. People recognize this places. And well, it was it was awesome to feel. And it, it was something special. And uh, to create a bond with uh, the city, the fans, and the people, you know, I'll, I'll never forget it. And, uh, you know, it's a great, great place to play hockey. What does the, the summer, what does the future have in store for Mike Angelique? Well, I gotta take some time off and relax for a bit, and then uh, you know, I got a busy summer. You know, my wife's pregnant, so I'm excited with that, and uh, I'm just gonna train, work hard, and get myself ready for next year. And I, I think next year is uh, my year to be the best that I can be. And uh, you know, I'm gonna work as hard as I can this summer to come in next year and uh, you know prove people that you know 
we are the team that you know people talk about.